Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this session, I want to have a look at how you can use the Bradford Factor to monitor sicknesses in your company. So on the screen, I've got a graph and a little table where you can fill in and it will automatically clock up the number of days taken sick and it will work out the Bradford Factor for you. So for example, John Smith on the top line there He's these yellow, these yellow cells, conditional formatting. If I type one in there, so I'll just put one in there, that'll go yellow. And you can see the Bradford factor changing slightly there. So that would have to change to five because that's another episode. And then this is going way, way over the top. So this guy is in trouble. So he's going on the sick. And 80% of the sick days he has at the weekends. I've got another formula in there to tell you that. Now, if I just delete that one out for a second, put it back to what it was like and then put that back down to four occurrences. So he's got four occurrences, one, two, three, four. So an occurrence is separate days off with a gap between. So that is just, even though there's more days, he's just one occurrence for Mark Rhodes, one occurrence. Now, conditional formatting is also there for the letter H, so you can count holidays. Just type in the letter H and it will go purple and then it will count that. If I do another one, H goes up to six for that person. So there's just two things set in this area, conditional formatting. And then this bit, sick days, is just a formula linking these two tables together, basically. This yellow area is the bit that you will have to fill in. If you add another sick day, so if I add a sick day there for that person, so that's Dave Green, who hasn't got any at the moment. You would have to put that to one. And then the Bradford factor triggers in. So the Bradford factor is this. It basically looks at, in this case, B13. So B13 is the sick days and times it by C13, which is the episodes, and then times it again by the episodes. So it factors up quite, quite quickly. Now you can set a company trigger per month that you think's um, okay. So I've set that to 12. There will be an industry standard, but 12, 12 um, as a review trigger is quite is quite high. Um, it'd probably be a little bit lower than that. Oh, it depends on your company, but you'll have your own little triggers. And then the summary function is basically adding up um, if it's a Monday or a Friday. So in this top one, John Smith, you can see it says four, one, two, three, four. There's four occurrences and they're all at the, either a Monday or a Friday. And then that is just looking at um, F13 divided by B13. So basically the, these, the count of these Mondays and Fridays divided into the actual sick days. So that's how it all works. And then there's a little graph there picking that all up. So what I want to do is quickly have a go at doing that on a blank sheet. So if I come back over to the left, I've got this set up. So first of all, conditional formatting. So I just need to highlight this area and do two conditions. Manage rules. So new rule. Second one down at the top. So if it's equal to one that's going to be the sick i want that to be yellow so fill yellow okay to that one second one if it's equal to so it's still the former only cells that contain if it's equal to h i want that to be purple there isn't a purple that'll do that's not purple that'll do that's not purple either but that'll do OK to that, and then OK again, and then test it, type of 1 should go yellow, type of H, it should go whatever colour that is. So now we need to do a formula in there to add up the sick days, it's just a sum function that's going to be, so that's going to be equal sum, and then just highlight that line, could have named that line to be honest, but I'll just do the sum function, that should come back with 1. And I can pull that down. Just test that on a different line. 
that works and then I need to do a count if function in the holidays taken to count up letter H's so it's going to be equals count if open bracket he wants the range the range is the same that area comma and what's it looking for it's looking for the letter H which you need to put in quotes so that should pick that up pull that down and it's picking up one there just to test that again H it's picked it up there so that, that's working so one sick day one holiday taken 27 left one sick day now this stuff needs blanking off here so I just need to zero that so what you've got there is sick days so this needs to be a formula equals um, sick taken so that one e equals e5 tick that and then I can pull that down and they've had one so they've both both had a well that's not the Bradford factor so wrong episode yellow they've had one just pull that back up in fact I'll leave that one there and if I pull this one this needs to be one as well so both of those have had one I'll put these to zero so it's sit something in there zero and then the, the Bradford factor is going to be equals sick days times sick episodes times sick episodes. Tick. So at the minute it's just one, but if I put another one in there, and another one. So B13 times B13 times B13. So that's three now. So then it starts clocking up quite high. So he's got a Bradford factor of 27. This guy is just got a Bradford factor of one, so he's okay. If I do another sick episode for him, and another one, so that's three. He's got three separate episodes so that goes to three he will have 27 as well let's make him be worse than that let's make him be in fact let's make him have a a friday off so that goes to four so this is how you just fill it in you're just filling in these two bits um you can hide the ones on there if you don't want the ones or the h you can hide those now like i said the trigger's just typed in whatever trigger you want and then whether this is a Monday or Friday is just basically a sum if. So these two are the only ones that's got any figures in there. So if I just delete that one and type equals sum if. Equals sum if, open bracket. So the range you're looking down is, can't see it. This Monday to Monday all the way across to the last day, Wednesday comma if it equals Monday you have to put that in quotes you want it to sum up comma the ones on here and then you close the bracket on that and it comes up with two which is not right so it says it should say three. Oh no two Mondays yeah that's right two Mondays there's two Mondays so that one's right, but we want the Fridays as well. So we have to do a plus and do a sum if for Friday. So sum if range is, are oh, you looking along the days of the week, comma this time for Friday. And when you find it, you sum in this range again. And there is no Friday that I can see there. So that should come back with no Fridays, so it should still stay at two. But if I do a Friday, so if I go one there, now it's come up with three, and that would be an extra sick episode. So the Bradford factor has now gone up. So there's four. So 75% of the four sick episodes this, this guy's had 
I'll just come back left now a bit. I've been either Monday or Friday. So you use this Bradford factor to sort of identify in HR terms people that are taking the lens a little bit, having sickies, maybe they're following football and going away at the weekend to away matches or whatever. But that will identify it for you. And then obviously you can then bring them in and say, look, your, your Bradford factor, your score on the door should only be 12. That's what we are saying. But yours is 64, which is quite large. And then you can put a, the last thing you can do is you can just put a graph on it, like I did on the sheet one, if you want. So we've got the names. Um, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on here, actually. So let's not put all of that. Let's just do a little a bit simpler graphs. If I go, um, just highlight all this data. Probably don't want a percentage on there. Let's have a look what this looks like. Insert graph, column graph. Mm -hmm. So sick days, sick episodes, and then the Bradford factor is this green one. Just put the label on that for it. Add labels. Should have done it for all of them, but never mind. Take that off. Add data labels. So they've both got 64. And these ones are all on zero. So what we what we've got there, this graph is just looking at that data. And that's all we need to do for that. I think we don't need to put the um, get rid of the title. So that's just going to give you the um, scores on the door. The trigger, which one's the trigger? Trigger for review, is that it? So we could change that um, to a line. Let's see if we can change that to a trigger for review. Um, wants to be a line, like so. Okay. That's the trigger for review. So these two guys have gone way, way past that. Now I'm just looking at uh, the rest of this. Is it going to pick it up? Uh, Monday to Friday. Yeah, this this information is there. So if I fill the rest of this in, see what this graph does. So let's say this guy goes on the sick, and again, and again. So that's three episodes for Paul Grant. Three. That puts him up to 27, so he's gone through the review line as well. So basically, if you just and 33%, so if I take that one off, put that back down to two, um, two. Yeah, that keeps him under the uh, review. So you basically can only, if that's your target, that 12, you can only have two independent sick days a month before you trigger a review which is mm, some people what they try and do is they come back to work too early and they, they end up having lots of sick episodes when they should have just stayed off i mean that's what you decide you discover on an interview so this is not, not a draconian tool it's just a method to look at you call them in you've had six episodes this month why is that you should have stayed off you've give everybody the flu or whatever and you can have that conversation. But that's all I want to talk about on this session. Hopefully that's been of use to you and I'll see you on the next one.